Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. I'm getting ready to leave on a 3,000 mile journey with my DIY travel trailer that I've been building over the last two years. One of my biggest fears during this adventure is having my trailer stolen while I'm off hiking or gone from the trailer for the day. Because I've built this trailer from scratch by myself over the last two years, it really is irreplaceable. If I bought an Airstream model 123 and it was stolen, my insurance company would replace it with a model 123. But this trailer that I affectionately call Eddie is full of my blood, sweat and tears over two years and it's been an incredible journey and I would be devastated if anything ever happened to it. So this is gonna be a long video, I'm gonna cover a lot of different topics, but the meat and potatoes of this video is using a GPS tracker on any particular piece of property that you have. I'm using my travel trailer as an example. That's what I'll be using it for. But the most important thing from this video is one, how to locate where your piece of property is. And more importantly, I'm gonna cover how to recover that piece of property because there's a big difference between the two. As you might have guessed from the thumbnail, I am a police officer, actually a retired police officer. I put 30 years in with the Municipal Police Service here in Ontario, Canada. I retired over a year ago, and even though I've been on YouTube for over five years, I've never really mentioned what I did for a living. I've hinted at it in some videos. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I wanna share my knowledge and explain to you what I say. These are some of the things that I would do if I needed to recover a piece of property. It's based on my experience. I spent first roughly five years in patrol services, I spent 10 years in the forensic identification branch. That is to my American friends, the CSI in Canada. It's not civilians that do that, it's police officers that transfer within their service. Uh, in my 10 years in forensics, I was a bloodstain pattern analyst. After my time in forensics, I moved on to our training branch where I was responsible for teaching fellow officers uh, new and changing laws, use of force. I was a use of force instructor and a taser instructor. After my time in the training bench, I was promoted to sergeant, moved on to a property crimes unit where we were mainly responsible for uh, stolen vehicles, break and enters, and uh, minor criminal offenses. I moved on to uh, patrol services, bounced around to the detective office for a little while, and then back to patrol services where I eventually finished my 30 years and retired. I tell you that because when we get into discussing how to recover your stolen property, I'm going to reference some of my experiences as a police officer. And I'm not going to give you legal advice, but I'm going to reference some of the things that I would consider if I was having trouble recovering my stolen property. So why do I feel I need a GPS to start with? Maybe you've watched my videos and you said, look, buddy, I hate to break it to you, but your trailer's not that nice. No one wants to steal it. That's very understandable. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Maybe you watch my videos and you've seen that I've put a heavy duty lock on the coupler and I put chains through the tires and I go through lots of effort to not have the trailer stolen in the first place. Reality is over 30 years, I've learned that if someone wants something bad enough, they're gonna be able to overcome any sort of security measures that you take. So I knew that I would never feel comfortable leaving for the day if I left my trailer in an RV park, or I was camping in the truck stop, or wherever I plan to be on my adventures in the upcoming years, I wanna be able to leave my trailer and have a confidence that if it's not there, when I get back, I know how to locate it. So that led me into thinking what I was going to use. I always wanted to save money. I did not want to spend a lot of money on a subscription or expensive equipment or that sort of thing. So I really started to look at all the options out there. So one of the first things I looked at was a spot system. And uh, spot is used in you know adventure races and when there's absolutely no service at all, it communicates with a satellite and tells you where the device is located. So what I didn't like about the spot is it had to have a unobstructed view of the sky, which means that I could really only install it on the roof of the trailer. And to me, if someone was uh, that set on stealing a trailer, it's simple enough to look up on the roof and notice this device and remove it and you know the trailer's still gone. So that was probably the determining factor why I chose not to go with a spot or quite frankly, any other GPS device that relied solely on GPS to track my trailer. So I continued researching online and there are a lot of devices out there 
that promise the world in recovering your property. One of the most common things are Apple tags that you can put on your car keys and, and little devices. They're great for locating your keys, but I would never rely on those to recover my trailer. And one of the biggest factors about these little devices, these Apple tags or similar items, that uh, they don't track where your property is going or traveling or has been. It simply has that blue flashing line like the Find My Phone uh, blue flashing light that shows up on a map that tells you it may or may not be in this location on a map, whether it be a house or a park or a street or whatever. It doesn't show you how that item got there, which is an important factor. We'll get into that later. So my research eventually led me to a company called WearSafe. I had never heard of WearSafe before. I did click on a few videos and watched a little bit about their product. And I was intrigued because it looked like it was going to be exactly what I wanted to use. So after watching a few videos, I actually called WearSafe and spoke with them. And I want a better understanding of how their products work because I wasn't completely clear on it from their videos. So instead of me explaining how it works, this is a wear safe video that I want you to watch just so you have a better understanding how it works and then we'll go on from there. GPS satellites orbiting Earth send signals to wear safe GPS trackers to determine precise location. The GPS tracker sends that data over any major cellular network in North America to WearSafe servers. The data is compiled and output onto the WearSafe mobile app in real time to keep you connected to your loved ones and high-valued assets. WearSafe GPS is the simplest, most affordable, and the most reliable GPS tracking solution for today's active families. It's easy. Just go to WearSafe.com. Click on the GPS store and choose the tracker that best suits your needs. Once you've bought your GPS tracker, it will ship within 24 hours. Install your WearSafe GPS tracker into any car, RV, boat, ATV, motorcycle, mobility device, or even in a child's backpack. Download the free WearSafe app and activate your account in a few simple steps. Now, always stay connected to loved ones and your things. Know exactly where young drivers are or where an elderly parent is. Even keep track of young ones at school. Be aware of family while on road trips. Know that your boat, RV, or sports car is safe while in storage. Stay connected to family who are on the trails or on the water. Get instant notifications by text, email, or push for speeding drivers. The moment your asset moves when it should not. Or if anyone tampers with your GPS tracker. Protect your passions with WearSafe GPS. So after our telephone conversation, WearSafe shipped me a product that I chose off their website and they provided me one year uh, subscription for free to try out their product uh, to promote on YouTube. And I say this because I wanna be completely transparent, but I also wanna tell you that I would have done this without their cooperation because it seems to be the perfect way of tracking any sort of item uh, at the lowest cost. I've been using it now uh, for six months, I've been extremely happy with it, and in six months when my subscription uh, expires, I will be paying out of, out of pocket for the service because I truly believe in it and it's, I've been that impressed with it. So hopefully uh, that kind of assures you that I'm not just doing this as a paid promotion, I really believe in this product and it will be what I use to track my trailer for as long as I have it. So I decided to go with a direct wire extended battery um, device to track my trailer. So for me, I thought it was best because it's hardwired into my battery system, but if somebody cuts the wires, it has a 120 day extended life battery that will uh, continue to operate the device without any sort of electrical current running to it. Because the device was so small, I was able to discreetly install it inside the trailer in a location that you would pretty much have to rip apart any sort of construction to locate it. 
and that to me was a big part of hiding the device. I didn't want it have to be visible to a satellite or underneath or um, you know I didn't want any of that I wanted to be able to hide it and know that it was safe and, and it is so because wear safe relies on cell signal I was very skeptical of doing this video until I put it to some severe test one of the first trips I did with the wear safe tracking device was up north in northern Ontario down some abandoned logging roads and to see when I got back from the trip if it indeed worked and did all the things that it said that it would. So where I ended up on this trip there was very very sparse cell signal. Um, I used TELUS which is one of the major providers in Canada um, so I would assume right or wrongly that they would probably have some of the best coverage. So where I was located on this trip in Northern Ontario uh, I could not make a phone call I sometimes would get a text message coming in, um, but it basically was no cell signal whatsoever. So when I got home, I logged in and was able to see where the trailer went. And to my amazement, um, it actually shows the clearing at the end of a logging road where I actually parked the trailer and the accuracy uh, was very impressive. So. Um, that was for me the start of being really impressed with where safe and how it works and one of the other things that has impressed me the most is that how quickly I get a text message on my phone when I leave the driveway with my trailer so what, so what that means is as soon as where safe detects that your property is in motion it will send you a text or any alert that you choose I choose a text message on my phone and within minutes I get a text message that Eddie, as I call my uh, trailer on my WearSafe app, Eddie is on the move. It's incredibly accurate real time. So before we go any further, I just want to restate that at no point in this video am I giving you legal advice or guiding you on what you should do. What I'm going to do is try to give you some generic scenarios and educate you on how you can assist the police and provide the police with information that will help you recover your property. So whether you live in New York City, rural America, somewhere in Canada, the advice that I'm going to give you, in my opinion, will assist you regardless of where you live or the size of the police service that you will be dealing. So now that we have that out of the way, let's use scenario one as an example. And scenario one is, that I parked my trailer I went for a hike while I was on my hike I got an alert on my cell phone that Eddie is moving by the time I was able to hike back to my truck I looked at the wear safe app and I can see that Eddie is located in a city and it's showing that it looks like it's on a particular piece of property it's no longer moving on a highway. It seems to be located at a certain address in a certain city. So your first thought might be to drive to that location and see if you can locate your property. So if I did drive there and let's say that it is a farm with several barns on the property and I cannot see my trailer. Based on this scenario, I believe most people would feel that calling the police was the appropriate thing to do. Now when the police arrive, this is when where safe is much more helpful than a find my phone app generally speaking if the only information you have about your stolen property is that apple shows you a flashing light on your computer screen that your property is located at a certain address generally speaking the police cannot act on that information alone but when you call the police and have more information to provide them you can assist them in doing the right thing and getting the grounds and possibly a search warrant to get into the residence or get onto a property to recover your stolen property so now the where safe app will show you a breadcrumb trail from where your property was stolen from and where it was taken to so instead of just showing a flashing dot that the coordinates show that it's here where safe will actually show you what streets it was driven down, what areas it went through, and where it is located. So based on this breadcrumb trail, you are now able to locate and obtain more evidence 
to help the police recover your property. If it was my trailer, I would follow the breadcrumb trail through residences and commercial districts and locate any sort of surveillance video on that stretch. It is extremely likely that you will find surveillance footage that will show your property, whether it be a trailer or a car or whatever it may be, being towed or driven by the suspect. In my case, if my trailer was stolen, I would see which vehicle was driving with my trailer. There's a very good chance you would get a license plate information from that surveillance video. Do not underestimate how much surveillance video is out there and accessible to you. Private citizens routinely access surveillance video from other private citizens or businesses uh, to prove car accidents or minor thefts or civil issues. It's used all the time, so it is a very realistic possibility you will find surveillance footage of the theft. It's also very likely that you will retrace that route and may even find a eyewitness to the theft. Just simply by speaking to people or business owners or someone on the side of the street that you would have never known would have seen the theft take place if you just had to rely on a flashing dot. That's the, one of the biggest advantages of WareSafe is that it shows you the route. So what you're trying to do is provide the police with the most information they have and it gives them more reasonable and probable grounds to act on your behalf regarding the theft. And if you want to take a page out of CSI and really impress the police officers that you've called to the scene, have a copy of the tire tread of your vehicle that was stolen. And how you do that is this. Put some latex gloves on your hand, put a small amount of oil on the latex glove, and then rub the tread of your tires from your vehicle thoroughly. Go to the dollar store, buy some Bristol board, run the tires over the Bristol board, and then take a contrasting powder. So if you use black Bristol board, some baby powder, some fine talcum powder, use your imagination. If you use white, you're gonna obviously need to have a dark uh, powder of some sort. But probably the easiest way to do it is to use black Bristol board and talcum powder or baby powder, that sort of thing. Simply brush it on lightly and you can blow off the excess dust and you will have a perfect impression of the tire tread. I have carved out a small notch on one of the lugs on the tread of the trailer tires. And what I do is I simply snap a close-up photo using a ruler in the photo of those impressions. I just keep it on my phone with me. An impression this type, you can actually see the fine detail. I can see the piece of the tire lug that I cut out. I can see that in my photograph on my phone. So if you call the police and you provided them with names of eyewitnesses, surveillance footage, a breadcrumb path, leading to the suspect's house and you could actually show them a photograph that the tread pattern from your property matches the tread pattern leading to the suspect's house. You most likely provided the police enough grounds to successfully apply for a search warrant and the most likely scenario is that the police can knock on the front door of the property, speak to the homeowner and provide them with all the information that they have pointing to why your property is on their property. And a very common scenario is that the issue gets resolved with your property being returned. Charges may or may not be laid against the thief, depending on how the scenario plays out. And then there's scenario two that I wanted to cover off before we wrap up the video. And scenario two is you're away from your property. For me, it would be my trailer. And I discover that it is on the move. My cell phone is telling me that it's uh, moving. So I'm able to get back to my truck and I see that Eddie is on a highway and moving. In this scenario, everyone's emotions are running high. You just want your property back. And the last thing you want to do is track down your property as it's traveling down a side street or even a highway and get in some sort of pursuit or chase it in any sort of way. Nothing good can come of that. And I do not recommend you doing that whatsoever. You have to use extreme caution if you're in this scenario. You may think that you're following it discreetly, but someone who just stole your property is going to be on the lookout for anyone following them or police behind them. The thief may pick up that he's being followed by you and is going to speed up and drive more aggressively and perhaps damage or destroy your property. You don't want that. 
So if you're following your vehicle on the highway and you decide to call the police, bad things could happen through no fault of the police or your own. A police officer is dispatched to this scenario where a citizen is following their stolen vehicle with a GPS tracker and knows its exact location. At some point, the police officers will decide whether they want to conduct a vehicle stop, which means activate their emergency lights behind the vehicle in hopes of it pulling over. And if that was the case, it would work out perfectly and your property would be recovered. Unfortunately, there is a very real possibility that any thief looking in the rearview mirror, seeing the emergency lights of a police car behind them, may decide to hit the gas and take off with hopes of getting away from the police. If that thief is towing my trailer, I would be very afraid of my trailer being destroyed in the attempt to get away from the police. So I'm not telling you to call the police or do not call the police in this scenario. It is a really tough call on how you want to do that. You may be better off waiting until your property becomes stationary or keeping a safe distance away from your property um, to ensure that you don't accidentally initiate some sort of high-speed pursuit with your very valuable property. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to locate property using the WearSafe GPS tracking device and hopefully I've given you some information to assist you in recovering your property if that scenario ever happens to you. So I personally have been using WearSafe for the past six months and I'm very happy with it. If you would like to use WearSafe, I would really appreciate it if you used my discount code. If you go to their website and you punch in the discount code at the bottom here, I'll also put the link in the description down below. You'll get a nice discount from your purchase and I will get a little bit of money to help with my channel and help provide you videos such as this. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about WearSafe, you can email me at scott at adrenalineadventures.com. I'm usually pretty good about getting back with my emails and I'd be more than happy to help you if you're thinking of going with WearSafe and going with their products. So I hope you liked the video. By the time you watch this video, I will be in Southern Utah with my wife living out of Eddie for about two weeks. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it if you get a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so, subscribe for adventures in a DIY travel trailer, affectionately referred to as Eddie. Thanks, cheers.